Hey, it's Zach with Cold Country Salmon. Uh, we're here to talk today a little bit about fresh fish versus frozen fish. I love talking about this subject at the farmer's markets because I get this all the time. I get somebody who'll walk up to our stand, ask me what kind of fish I have. I'll tell them I have beautiful halibut, beautiful wild caught coho salmon, beautiful king salmon. And they'll say, Do you have, is it fresh? And I'll say, yes, it is fresh frozen. And they'll look at me, turn up their nose and say something like, well, I want my fish fresh. I don't eat frozen fish. Well, guess what? When you get that beautiful thawed out piece of fish at the grocery store, looks wonderful, doesn't it? Well, it was frozen. If it's coming from Alaska or it's coming from far away, ideally that fish was frozen. If it was flown here unfrozen, then you're looking at an old piece of fish, not a fresh piece of fish. Now, if you live in a small fishing village in Alaska, eat all the fresh salmon that you like. However, there are even issues with doing that. All wild fish should be frozen. Uh, and the reason for that is all wild fish have parasites. Parasites are generally harmless as long as the fish has been frozen to minus 20 degrees for up to 24 hours or uh, less than that at minus 40 degrees and that will kill all parasites. Or you have to cook the fish well done and who wants a well done piece of expensive king salmon? Not me. So when you come, when you go to your local fishmonger, if they have salmon, ask for it frozen. You're not going to get as nice a piece of salmon as mine, but you'll get a better piece than if you buy that thawed out piece in the display case that may have been thawed out for one day or several days, who knows? So the point is get the frozen fish. If like our fish, it was frozen within two days of being caught, was pressure bled and iced immediately after being brought out of the water, was brought out of the water alive, then it's gonna be a dining experience like no other. It'll be as good as the day it was frozen, which is one to three days from when we catch it in Alaska. That piece that you got at the grocery store was frozen. It could be up to two weeks in an ice slurry before it was processed and frozen, which tends to result in a mushier, softer, less firm piece of fish with a slightly off taste to it. Now, if that's all you've been eating your whole life, you may think that you don't like wild caught salmon. Well, then I highly suggest you try a piece of salmon that met our rigorous standards. You could just buy it from me at coldcountrysalmon.com and save yourself the trouble. It'll be the best piece of salmon you've ever had, I guarantee it. To get the best piece of fish possible, the fish that's going to be closest in quality to the day it was caught by frozen. Frozen freezes the decay process in time. It doesn't start to decay until you thaw it out, but you're going to cook it right away. Don't thaw it out and let it sit in your refrigerator for several days or you're essentially getting yourself a grocery store piece of fish. I hope that clears it up for you. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me at coldcountrysalmon.com and we'd be happy to help.